to say a couple words about your work with our youth in the United Way? Because I think they need to see the whole picture, your whole person. I'd be happy to. As you heard, I have been there for about three years working as a program manager on education initiatives with the focus primarily on working with at-risk youth. And so these are, these are you that sometimes, again, have different ways of learning and perhaps um, are not as successful in what we call a traditional or comprehensive high school or middle school. And so I work with programs that help engage our young people in, in various ways to meet their needs for learning, whether it means um, more hands-on type instruction programs, whether it means bringing in some interactive uh, programs, whether it means taking the children out to opportunities in the community through field trips, visits to museums, visits to other centers of, of, of work that expands their horizons. Um, those are the programs that I am looking to support throughout the county to make sure that we have what's called multiple pathways to success for all of our children and youth. It's not that every child um, can thrive in, in one set method of instruction, but all programs um, can help educate in different ways. So thank you for that chance. Thank you. Hello. What Pearl, what Pearl Chang said about the funding of arts and education in California is so critical. For the last 10 years, what we, what we have been doing in California is actually taking away art, defunding art, little by little. Up until the last three years, there was absolutely zero budget dollars in our education uh, state funding from, from the state of California. Just recently, in the last couple years, that funding has just kind of a little bit, there's been a recognition that if you don't teach our children to think outside the box, to think creatively, it's not just about numbers, it's not just about addition and subtraction and spelling, it's about thinking outside the box. And there's been a recognition by the state legislature to actually you know, fund art and music. So that's, that's a, a little bit of information for you. Before we go on to our next panelist, I just wanted to, out of respect for our a dignitary here today, I'd like to acknowledge uh, Mayor Roger Mahoney. Would you please stand? Sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry about that. Um, our next panelist is Miss um, Ann Wu. Who I have had the pleasure of seeing some of the work that she has done uh, uh, with expression of art through her dance troupe. She's uh, just a wonderful, wonderful artist and producer of. Uh, Chinese art and music. Uh, she was recently awarded from, from the University of Women's, so American Association of U University of Women, the Women's Achievement Award in Art. And also, she's the, uh, a dancer and producer. Uh, she's been the executive director of the Chinese Folk Dance Association of San Francisco for the last 10 years. And currently, she's the chair of the Arts Cultural Committee of Cupertino Hinshu Sister Cities Association. Now, I have seen her work, it's fabulous, and we're so honored to have her here uh, to talk about herself and talk about the work that she has done because she's truly a great addition to uh, our work and family. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, I'm very glad to be here to talk about a little bit about myself and also the art. But actually, uh, as a topic, I'm not I'm not very proud of, of this topic because um, famous artists are mostly men. You know, they are not uh, women. So uh, the, the thing that uh, I feel that art actually is only a, a means. A means to express yourself. To uh, so me, actually by, by trade, I'm, I'm an electronic engineer. I dance only as my hobby. Okay, I learned dance since four, uh, 14 years, years old. Um, I have been in the semiconductor industry for, thir for 30 years. But then after 30 years, I, I said to myself, what's so great about being an, an, an engineer? There's thousands and thousands you know, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, in the Silicon Valley. But as an author, you know, the artist actually has a very bad Im image. And they were said, they are over a bit, even, I mean, as a, a, 
the answer. Okay, they always say that you have the over the the the, the developed limbs, but very small brain. Okay, so I I said no, actually maybe what what the artist should uh, need is the brain. Okay, so so I started my uh, performing art company and I try to serve the company as the brain of the company. So I, I try to design and you know, set the policies. Actually, uh, in the first 12 years, we just try to uh, do uh, dances and mu music because dance and music are known as a u universal la language. Everybody can understand. Okay, I think along the side, along the line, I think San Francisco Actually, dance, dance festival is, is doing the same thing. They use dance as a uh, means of com communication. Okay. Now, but after 12 years, uh, we start to di uh, di diversify. We start touring, touring about 12 states. And also we start to uh, is have a school so we can teach the youth. You know, we have um, uh, dance as Chinese dance, ballet, hip hop, uh, music, painting, and so on. Okay, and then later on, uh, I start to have a different kind of uh, art com 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 competition. So using competition, we encourage the youth to participate in, in, the, in the art. Okay, so we are, uh, as a performer company, we try to showcase the best of the Chinese um, culture. But as a school, we try to do it as a uh, grassroots. So we try to uh, encourage the youth to learn art in a, a much, much bigger scale. Now, uh, so we, what, what, I, what I did is that, um, I, I have a lot of uh, pro program brochures here. Almost like every year, I, I have a one a full scale production, and then on, on the side we perform for many uh, groups, many art groups, or many uh, co community community groups. Now, I think CPA, as a short form, is stand for Chinese Performing Artists of America. I think we are the only art um, group that. We can produce a full-scale production from from uh, scratch. That means we we uh, compose our own music. We choreograph the uh, dance. We design our costume. We make our own costume, and so on and so forth. Um, uh, and then we also co collaborate with Barbara and Jose. Okay, uh, about in 2005 we have. We jointly produce a full-scale uh, ballet uh, production. Actually, it's not 100% ballet. It's about 60% ballet and 40% of the Chinese dance. That is the way that we want to introduce our uh, culture to the mainstream audience. So that is the only way that we can introduce our Chinese dance to the um, white you know, so-called mainstream uh, all, all, all audience. And so usually when we do one uh, full production, it is straightly 100% Chinese theme, and the audience about 80% Chinese, about 20% non-Chinese. But when we have a co collaboration with Ballet San Jose, then we both perform seven performances, and then about 80% are our main mainstream. So I really encourage that you know, collaboration is one of the very powerful means to introduce your art to, to, to the other groups. Okay, now I think um, art is one thing, but as a woman, okay, if we don't mention that what is the biggest or most important responsibility as a woman is the motherhood. Okay, so I think without the woman, with, without the woman kind, I think human being cannot be a human being.
Okay, now, uh, I think in every culture, there must be uh, a story or a um, uh, mythology that about uh, the, uh, the, the womanhood. Okay, in the, in the Chinese mythology, our, our mother is called Nuwa, so I, I, I brought this uh, painting. <laughs> <laughs>